Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I want to talk about one of the most confusing but also misunderstood things about C Sharp and that is memory leaks. Now we know C Sharp is a managed language so we have a garbage collector trying to scout for re references that point to null and then garbage collect them so basically freeing memory but memory leaks can still happen and we had an incident here in this Reddit post where someone has one and a half years of experience working with C Sharp and then recently interviewed for a .NET position and they were asked what is a memory leak in C Sharp and the person responded that because C Sharp is a garbage collected language in most cases developers don't need to worry much about memory leaks. This does not answer what is a memory leak in C Sharp. This does not answer what is a memory leak period. And I think if you're interviewing and you get this question, yes, you don't need to worry about in C Sharp, but know what it is and explain it. So when you have memory that has been allocated and then it can't be garbage collected anymore, it's incredibly important, even though you know it is true that in C Sharp, you probably don't need to worry that much about garbage collection, explain what it is. So the interviewer was surprised and they said something like, you don't know this? C Sharp is actually one of those languages where memory leaks are a big issue. What shitty software are you writing if it's not a big issue it's rarely an issue unless you're doing mega advanced things and usually unsafe things you know things with bitmaps graphics and and that sort of thing even interrupt can cause this but it's it's no i really had a memory leak issue in my career once and that is like 10 years doing this professionally it's very rare to encounter them and, and this is in a very big context as well with tens of thousands of requests per second this left the person confused, rightfully so. They messed up. You messed up with this, but they messed up, in my opinion, with this as well. And if you're the interviewer watching this, what the hell? The person always thought that dot and run times garbage collector handles things for us. Memory leaks are rare. Yeah, that's true. So is this really a big issue? And you want to hear more about uh, this from experienced developers. It is not a common issue, but you should be able to be in a position to explain what memory leakage is memory that is being allocated and is not being then cleaned up. The most common issue you, you would have in C Sharp in that sort of context is actually resource leakage, not really memory leakage, where you have a database connection or an HTTP client or something that is not properly disposed, usually with a dispose uh, call method or with the using statement not being used somewhere in a very high traffic system, those disposals will not happen as fast as they should. They will eventually happen in most cases and you won't be able to open new connections. I've encountered this, many people have encountered this, but memory leakage itself is way more niche. So let's see what the first comment says, and I think it's the most liked comment as well, so let's go through that. So the answer is it depends, as always, you know. C Sharp is a managed language, which means most object allocations are handled by the garbage collector, so generally you don't need to worry about clearing things up for yourself and deallocating memory. By the way, you can still do that. You still have malloc and free in C Sharp. You can access them if you wanna play with unsafe code and do that, please don't. But a few common cases where you end up leaking memory and can cause problems. So the most common one by far, and I'm happy to see this, I see this all the time in production, when you have event handlers and you hook a delegate callback, not unhooking it when you need to can actually lead to memory leakage issues. This is actually by far the most common way normal code can get a memory leak. People frequently forget that they need to have an equivalent minus equals call. Otherwise, the reference to the handle will remain and won't be GC'd. This can mean that you end up with huge object trees and structures not being deallocated. It's particularly frequent in UI development, but there's other scenarios where it can happen too. Not all objects are managed, so sometimes you need to be more explicit. This is usually covered by the disposable pattern, which this is not necessarily memory disposal. This is more of a resource disposal. You know, if you're working with databases and you need to dispose the connection, this is actually something we go in depth in our Dapper course, which just launched as well as our entry framework course. In fact, in all courses on Dome Train, we'll show how to use the best practices. And I'm very happy to announce we're running a summer sale, 30% off everything from courses, bundles, as well as our Dome Train Pro offering. Link in the description down below, use code SUMMER30 at checkout to get everything 30% cheaper. So if you don't implement the using pattern properly or don't explicitly call dispose, you can leak. Mm, will any comment address this? Yeah, usually the dispose method is used to dispose resources that are most often not memory locations like a DB connection or a socket. Very true, but there's a counter argument that DB connections and socket are unmanaged resources. Yeah, they're not necessarily unmanaged memory directly. They're managed resources. 
there's not no allocation. The allocation happens in unmanaged memory. The GC doesn't track. If you do not dispose them, then maybe they have a finalizer that will clean up that allocation. Finalizer or destructor, which many people don't know this exists. Even though a finalizer is only triggered during GC, which is something else you need to keep in mind, if something is untracked, then the finalizer will not be called because the thing will not be disposed. It's very complicated. But I find at least one out of three people I talk to have started disposable on one and are completely unaware there's a 201 to study. There's also weird cases like bitmap. It's a managed object that looks small on the GC but allocates a pretty huge chunk of unmanaged memory. There's a whole special GC method it calls to tell the GC is bigger than it looks. Which is interesting, I actually did not know that. So it can be collected and it's finalizable, the stakes are higher and it should be collected so that finalizer can release its unmanaged memory. This is very interesting, I did not know that. This is a very, very valid point. I think most people are probably utilizing an ORM like anti framework and the DB context implements are disposable, so it's far less of an issue. Yeah, that's true, it's less of an issue in many cases and even if you don't call it, it's very likely it's going to be collected anyway. But this is not about memory, this is about resources. I think if the answer should focus on the question, it should be more about memory than just database stuff and the using pattern as mentioned here. Maybe the interviewer was trying to understand that. Maybe they were trying to see, okay, do you know about the disposable pattern and the using pattern? It's actually the disposable pattern, not the using pattern, by the way. But it's quite unclear. A hidden source of c -sharp memory leaks are event registrations and other forms of function delegate callbacks. It's almost always the case. And even though I'm not really on the, you know, web forms or win forms world or WPF, I have encountered this because we built a solution that was using, sadly, event handlers. It was a long time ago. I didn't know any better. And we did actually encounter this issue with handlers not being unsubscribed properly, leading to a leak. If you are using event handlers and you're registering handlers like that, please take a look and make sure they're properly disposed and properly deallocated because they can cause issues. But just to go to the answer of the question, that comment summarizes it very nice. What is a memory leak in c -sharp? Well, the candidate is expected to answer at least memory leak happens when a program allocates memory and never releases it when it's no longer needed. That is basically it. That's what you need to say. Now, there's many examples on the internet on how to cause a memory leak. It's not a sort of this is the only way it can happen. If you want a more in-depth analysis where I showcase a, an entire project that has a memory leak, and try to show you how to identify it and fix it, leave a comment down below, let me know, because it's a very interesting topic and maybe it's a good idea to at least showcase it. It might not be something you encounter, you know, daily, but maybe just knowing it exists might be good. So leave a comment down below, let me know. But that's it for this video. Let me know if you ever encounter a memory leak in C Sharp in the comments down below and let me know how it was caused and why, because there's many ways to sort of get it, but I want to hear some of the most unusual ones. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.